Uh, Pedro Gomez with ESPN. Um, Brad and Billy, I guess this is more for you guys, but what was the decision made to play tonight's game? Yeah, um, I have. Uh, I talked with some of the guys on the club, um, and uh, at some point when they're ready, um, they can they can elaborate on that. Um, but it felt, and again, I don't want to speak for them, um, but it felt that one, it was what Tyler would want, um, and also that. It's a time to allow them to get back into a routine and to have a, a period of time where they feel um, disconnected. A lot of problems go away when the first pitch is thrown until the last pitch is thrown. And these guys will be there fighting for each other um, with Tyler weighing heavy on their hearts tonight. I can tell you that. No. Um, the first day back, whether it was today or tomorrow, is was going to be the one of the toughest, other than yesterday. So uh, I think what Billy hit the nail on the head in the sense that the game itself is a, can be a refuge for players where they can turn their minds off and just focus on baseball. And I don't know that sitting in a hotel room would do them any good. Fletcher. Uh, Jeff Fletcher, Orange County Register. Brad, can, can you talk a little about, about what happened yesterday and the, the way you guys kind of supported each other in the last 24 hours? Um, yeah. No. The team all got together. Uh, a couple times, um, and uh, some of the guys spoke, but I think most importantly, in the end, we were able to talk about Tyler and laugh about some of the stories and some of the goofy things he did, listen to some of his music. <laughs> so, it was good. For Billy or Brad, um, for people who didn't have a chance to know Tyler Skaggs, what do you want them to know about him as a person? He was consistent with everybody. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I got a, I got an email this morning from, um, you know, uh, Dr. Elitraj, uh, who, who did his surgery, and Dr. Elitraj made a point to, to comment in there about how he treated everybody that came into operating rooms, came into waiting rooms, everybody that it, he encountered. Um, I can speak to people that work inside of our clubhouse. Um, I can speak to people that work outside of our clubhouse. Um, so many people looked at Tyler as, like I said, kind of like I said, like a brother and a son, even, even though they, they might not have a relationship with him or, a uh, you know, a, a family relationship with him. So I think his reach and his impact, I think everybody's going to discover over the, the, the coming weeks, the coming months, because the outpouring that we have felt and that, that we've experienced has been um, pretty remarkable. He impacted a lot of people and the community. Um, he, was a, he was a staple in our in our community, um, with with all of the efforts of, of, the, of the angels um, throughout Southern California, so there's so many people that knew Tyler and loved Tyler. I, I've yet to to run into somebody who hasn't. 